Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can put together your own H double bay antenna. <clears throat> now, as you can see in the picture here, I have one here. This is a smaller one. This is built for the 440 for ham radio. And it's all oh, just a little under two feet tall. It's not very big at all. But uh, these antennas, you can build them for all kinds of different frequencies. Um, you can use them for 10 meters in the ham radio. You can use them um, for two meters. <coughs> um, you can use it for CB. Um, I've seen people do that. Other shortwave radio bands, even if you just use it as a receiver, you can transmit on it. But you can build this just as a receiver antenna as well. Um, I've seen people use them on FRS. So granted, you're not supposed to, but uh, well, you can if you really want to. Just basically don't get caught, but. Like I said, the one I got here in this picture, this is set up for 440. I have also had one a few years back. I had a 10 meter one up, uh, I had it hanging out of a tree in the backyard. And that one was quite a bit larger than this. Uh, that one, oh, I'm trying to think off a of hand, I think it was like 30 feet high. But I had some uh, nice tall trees in the backyard. I can't remember exactly, it's somewhere in there. Um, <clears throat> I have to look at the calculator. I'll show you here in a couple minutes on how we build this. But I also had a two meter one too, and the two meter one was about four feet long, I do believe, somewhere in that ballpark. And I had that hanging on a willow tree out in the front yard. And until a couple of years ago, the wind brought down the branch, broke it, and I just never put it back up. I got some other verticals I used, so didn't need it. And all right, to build this, um, on the larger ones, you can use PVC tubing and just some copper electrical wire. On a small one like this, um, we're just using a piece of plastic in there to kind of support it in the middle here. And I mean, this antenna is real small. The distance from here to here I mean, is like two inches from side to side and top to bottom is less than two feet. So on the, the bigger ones for like 10 meter, 11 meter, stuff like that, you're on PVC across these three areas here and that supports it and then you just hang rope off the top and actually let's go over to the website um now i didn't put this website together i ran across this years ago when i first made these but here he's got a picture right here that shows it being made and that's our pvc or you could use wood in there too as well it would it would work pvc is nice cheap um you can get it at any hardware store and then you can see it's supported on a rope and uh, between two trees works great. That's what I did in the backyard. And you want to have the bottom, you know, a couple feet off the ground is the best. I had mine, I think it was about three feet off the ground. It seemed to work fine. But, um, yeah, you don't want the bottom, you know, like two inches off the ground. That's probably not going to work very well. And it is uh, directional, so you do need to aim it and then stake it down. But, all right, um... Well, there's some reading on here. I'll have actually have a link to this website. Just look in the description below. I'll have a link that'll bring you here. And you can check it out. There's some interesting reading on here about different bands and how to use it with VHF, UH, or HF, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if you'd really want to try using this for a microwave antenna. I think that's going to be getting kind of real small, but you can give it a try. But uh, what we want, where is that, is downloads right here. You want the calculator, and this will show you how to put this, this together real easily. Now, I've already downloaded, but you'll want to click here and download it. I've got it downloaded, so I'll just click and open it up here. All right, come on, open up. There we go. And then what you do is right here, you put in what frequency range you want. Um, say you're going to go on the ham band 7.015. That's a repeater um, not too far away from me. So we calculate. And now this will be tuned for this exact frequency. Now, what you're going to want to do is pick something about in the middle of the range that you're going to want to be using because your SWR is going to be optimal for this frequency right here. But um, to build it, you're getting these calculations right here, how much PVC you need, the length of the wire you're going to need, and then dimensions A and B. What you do is you click on diagram here, 
and this brings up a diagram, and it shows you the measurement. That's A, that's that measurement. That's B, that's that measurement. Now remember, this B right here, there's two of them. That is not from here to here as B. That is from here to here is one, and then from here to here. So you'd have this B is um, 2.5 and 3 quarters. So you would need 2.5 and 3 quarters here and 2.5 3 quarters here. And actually, no, that's 2 foot 5 and 5 and 3 quarters, excuse me. You see what I mean. But the A, that is side to side. And that's how you figure it out. And you'll have the top A, the bottom, or the middle A, and the bottom one. It's actually, it, it's split in the middle, and then you have your uh, your connector on there, like an SL239 or whatever you decide to use. Now, they were using pressure-treated wood down here, and PVC here. You can use PVC on the whole thing. It does work. What I did is on the bottom one, I just had a hole right here. Um, I think I used one-inch PVC, and I had a hole in there so I could run the connector through. And it worked fine, but... Uh, yeah, that's uh, all there is to building one of these. It's not that difficult. Um, I'm actually surprised there's not a whole lot of information on the web about these. I mean, there's this website, and I've seen it mentioned in a couple other articles and one or two other websites, but it's not really talked about a lot. And I've used these antennas, and they, they work great. Uh, they're extremely cheap to make, easy to make. I actually built mine inside my house, um, the 10 meter one. Now, you're thinking, how are you going to do that? That thing's like 30 feet long. Well, yeah, <laughs> I live in a big schoolhouse, so <laughs> I got 40 feet from one side to the other, and it's all one open room, so no problem building it in here. All right, well, um, like I said, the link to this website, uh, and this ain't my website, this is, uh, this is Ron Baisley A4S, I guess. That's the name I see right here. But, uh, yeah, I'll have a link to it in the description below. You can check it out. Everything you need to know on how to build one of these is on here, and there's some other links and stuff, too. So, All right, well, thanks for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. I uh, hope you have a great day, and remember, have fun building.